Global Business Forum Africa has always been a critical uh, platform to be able to bring senior government officials, heads of states, ministers, business and finance leaders, and, and they all converge for us to be able to engage and discuss pertinent issues that affect both the continent of Africa and of course the UAE as well, and exploring synergies between the two. Um, uh, trade between the UAE and Africa has already surpassed $50 billion and, and will continue to grow. So the UAE becomes and continues to become a, a very important strategic trade partner for the continent. 2021, this particular forum is very timely because as we all know, we've just emerged out of, uh, and some would argue we're still emerging out of this global pandemic, COVID-19, which has been a watershed moment. In some ways, the end of an era and the start of another. And this pandemic has completely reshaped and fundamentally reimagined how we do things, right? From how we live, how we work, how we travel um, to globalization itself as we've seen wealthier nations go insular. But on the continent of Africa, things have been a bit more promising. Earlier this year, we passed the Continental Free Trade Agreements, creating the largest free trade area in the world. We've also seen that where uh, uh, on the technology side, for example, we've seen a massive acceleration in the adoption of digital technologies, which creates huge opportunities. This year alone, we've had Two unicorns in the last few months emerge out of Africa. Flutterwave, a fintech company, and Andela, an educational tech company, which are now valued over $1 billion each, right? And so, in a way, even though this pandemic has been a, a great crisis, it has also been an opportunity for us to reshape and reimagine our economies, to accelerate uh, um, the adoption of digital, and to make sure that we can create a more inclusive, more sustainable and a more prosperous regional economy.